Well, hello, guys, and welcome to the Joe Mars podcast. Now, wherever you choose to listen to podcasts, uh, you can find this podcast on Buzzsprout, Apple Podcasts, and any of, any of my social media platforms at Joe Mars Official, and as well as on my website as well. Just go to wixsite.com and you will get Joe Mars on radio. Now, for those who have taken the time to listen to, you know, the first installments of the Joe Mars podcast, starting off with, uh, you know, starting the new year with a bang, that was the first, post first podcast I did. That was a musical rundown of music that spoke to me in 2020. Uh, and then we also did the At Home with Ananya Kudz, a very vibrant and upcoming artist from Zimbabwe. We also did At Home with Fuyo Brown. These are all podcasts that you can find on these specific uh, podcasting platforms, Buzzsprout and, Oppo and Apple Podcast. I want to thank you very much for all those who spend the time here, you download it. It's such an honor to get those responses from you, uh, the love, the likes, and even the subscriptions on the on the website. It really means a lot, especially for me as an independent or standalone radio journalist or a podcaster. I mean, this is a new phenomenon in Zimbabwe. Podcasting is not one of those things that you just rightfully just speak out and say, okay, that's what I do. I'm a podcaster. And people just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's one of those things that a lot of people still struggle to understand what is it all about. And um, even the phenomenon as well that we call freelance journalism is just one of those things. So um, uh, that said, I know it's very easy to listen to mainstream media platforms, but I believe in this kind of uh, broadcasting. I believe in this kind of journalism. I believe in this pocket, in your pocket philosophy that you can basically take it out wherever you want to listen to it at your own pace. And of course, interact with me and whoever I'll be having as a guest in the shows at any time you want. That said as well, I would love to hear from you in all matters concerning the Joe Mars podcast. So simply leave a comment on any of the pl uh, platforms that carry the podcast and we can chat away okay so let's get into today's show uh, today i'm speaking with uh, a young woman <clears throat> young woman who has made a name for herself in a way that many find very very interesting some might even call it bizarre i don't know uh, and interesting being a very broad term she's an all-round artist in that she acts and she sings. That's what she does. She acts, she sings, and she is also a model. I believe yeah, her Instagram shows all of these facets in her artistry. She has done it all from singing with the, the late Oliver Mtukudzi, and she's no stranger to the world of art. Please help me welcome Vimbai Vichud Zimuto who joins me all the way from the Netherlands. Good afternoon to you. And this is what's happening, David? How are you doing? We're just one hour behind you guys. So I got a lot of difference, no difference. You know, when whenever you say someone is in uh, Europe, it almost feels like it's a different, different kind of place altogether. It is, I know, but, you know, you expect the hours to be 9, 10, behind or ahead you know so when you get yeah. it, uh, it almost feels like you're you are right next door to us yeah it's just one hour behind and as <laughs> reality as what i see and what is it congrats on the new single in the writing in asha to push my works you featured Lero Gopal. I've been looking at the visuals that came in today when you launched it. I have been, uh, it's been nothing short of what we expect from you. The raunchiness, the sexual we buy, uh, it is uniquely you. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, I, I, I love to just bring out myself. So, and sexy is the way to go. So, why not? <laughs> sexy is the way to go. Okay. Mm -hmm, That's, brilliant. Mm -hmm. That's really brilliant. What are you and talking Leroy, about? And Leroy, of course. Uh, oh, yeah. What am yeah, I talking yeah, about? Yeah. Leroy, Leroy was, was, was really, I mean, we haven't seen Leroy in a long time. Thank you for bringing him back. <laughs> you yeah, but he, back. Was, he was there last year uh, hosting the numbers. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, he was the MC. Yeah. Visually. 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 
Okay. Yeah, been like on TV or on a, on a film or on something. Yeah. Yeah, he's a natural. So he's I love to work with naturals, and he's an amazing artist. He's the creative. He is innovative, and it took us less than five hours to shoot that video. Because mm. you know, when you work with someone who is um, who is determined to work, and someone who is, uh, well, you know, when when they're in front of the camera, they just have this vibe. So it's amazing. It was really, it was a a, a chance of a lifetime to work with such an amazing artist. So, yeah, kudos to you, Leroy. I love I love the fact that you said a chance of a lifetime. I mean, he must be saying to himself as well, it was a chance of a lifetime <laughs> to just be on a video with me. My, 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 maybe the yeah, feeling. It, was, it was really interesting because the first time we met was, uh, we actually met uh, at the airport when I was picking him up. That was our really first time encounter. And it was just like we knew each other for a long time because we could talk and, and feel free to express and, you know, and talk about the video and why we have to do it and what we want to do. And then it was just easy to, to, to do because everyone was there to bring out such a project. And I had an amazing team. So it was so, ah, uh, I, I have no words for this one. <laughs> I have no words. You are so, delighted. You are elated because of I'm this. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. Yeah. Listen, I I listened to it, and it, it, you know I've I've listened to some of your songs, which are of course Mbira laid, and they've got but mm Mbira -hmm. and Mumkati, and and stuff like that. But this one mm -hmm. was very very calm. And when you when you start listening to it or you start watching it, it's like you are just you don't know the kind of voice you're gonna sing with. Like it, 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 it was almost like a surprise when you started singing, and I was like, okay, she can she kind of sounds like. Shade do, or you know those Tony Braxton, uh, the vibe, the vibe, <laughs> the vibe. That's what I'm talking about. The vibe. Oruta oruta ngoro zia ma 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 artist angu chaja and don't love. Yeah, I love these these artists because sometimes you have to get to a point where you understand yourself. When you understand kutinini as bimbai sumuto, what do I do? What do I love? What mm -hmm. what makes me tick? Because it. I struggled for a couple of years to have self-discovery of um, who, who am I in the music industry. You know, after working with Oliver Mtoko Zitango Kwasando, being on stages with people like Baba Mal, Sarif Keta, you, you, are, uh, you are an artist who, who has so much, so much different things that you can do. I can do so many things. M most people are always surprised when I do something else. Like when I did Kupaki Chwa, they'll be like, oh my God, so you do traditional too? It's because, yeah, I, I worked on so many different stages and now I feel like I found my vibe and I feel like now I have something that, that I can give and just stick to that because, yeah, I can do so many things. And, and as an all-rounder artist, it's more difficult than someone who just knows how to do jazz and they don't know how to do anything else. I can do mm. jazz. I can do okay. traditional. I can do R and B. I can. I can. I can't do hip hop. <laughs> I can do dancehall. <laughs> but you could but, try um, and do hip hop. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't. I. I think hip hop is something that I can actually surely hundred percent say no. I can't do that. Mm. But I can. I can do dancehall. I can even do the dancehall dance. So I can oh. do everything. So <laughs> it's. <laughs> I just don't do it because, you know, um, there's a certain, I have to, to have an identity and I have to have a direction and I cannot go this way, that way, that way, that way. So I have to really choose. And I sing gospel better than any other kind of music. If you see, <laughs> if you hear me sing gospel, you'll be shocked. But yeah. um, I choose not to do gospel because that's not the direction I want to take. And I, yeah. I can think for the Lord in my own time in my house. <laughs> so, so yeah. So the 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 new song is called um, uh, Andy Gone. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. What yeah. is it about? What is it about? Andy Gone is just a reassuring song um, mm. that you know I can't live without you. Andy Gone kurara mandi sinewe. You know, we've we've seen a lot of stories about COVID and how people are surviving in COVID. And uh, the part I I haven't heard yet 
is how are married people surviving in COVID? <laughs> you know, I've heard <laughs> about, <laughs> I'm really honest. I've heard about people dancing together, you know, having fun as a family, trying to kind of find this kind of vibe mm -hmm. and dance to some new music, you know, do a family challenge and blah, blah, blah. But um, sensually, I haven't heard the part where people would say, oh, my God, now I can actually have more time with my man. I can have more time with my wife and we we are trying to we we have been trying to fix our relationship but yeah because she's busy i'm busy kids are busy uh now we are stuck in this house and um children are busy like i had my issues with my kids a couple of minutes ago uh which was the reason why we were late to come here anyway yeah, so yeah. um it's it's a lot but for loved ones how is this time for you? How how mm. is this? How are you feeling being with this person you barely spend the day with because you are working and she's working, uh, or maybe you're working and she's home. So now you have twenty four seven in that house, locking each other down. <laughs> <laughs> so, so so in <laughs> other words, in other words, mm. this was you trying to say, listen. Uh, let me tell a story about the married couple uh, during COVID. But w while in actual fact, you know that what you portrayed on Handy Gone is not is not what is happening in in each and every relationship that's out. No, there. that's uh, of course that's not exactly what's happening in everybody's uh, relationship. But I look at it like if you hear the song, it starts slow down, mm. take mm. a breath. Let me soothe you. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm just taking you to I'm telling my men to say, hey, dude, we've got all the time in the world. <laughs> and you uh, slow down a little. Slow there's down. no need, there's no need to hurry, there's mm -hmm. no need to rush, there's no need to go to because that's it but um, uh, this is like I'm going to take my time and soothe you uh, you know uh, today I just want to get vulnerable with you and this is with you you know <laughs> okay okay yeah okay yeah no, so. we can we we, we kind of expect that i want to be honest and i think w when we have had conversations before you've always asked me mm. joe you know what what do you think about what do you think about things and to be quite honest i think if you were to do anything different from what you have done with this very new single i mm -hmm. would be like Vimbai, where are you going with this i mean we 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 yeah. kind of expecting this so mm -hmm. i like people who or i like uh characters who portray some sort of um uh, character uh, character the same character over and over again so if i know mm -hmm. you're going to be producing raunchy videos and sexual topics and sexual pics that's what i'm going to be mm -hmm. expect it's easy to deal with you like i mean it's easy to just know there's been by oh wow okay that's been by is there anything mm -hmm. new is there anything different i mean that's her and mm -hmm. obviously you 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 spice it up here and there so uh, kudos for 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 staying true to that i mean they there would be a lot of Zimbabweans that actually think it is not the right kind of way of doing it. How do you deal with? Yeah, such but oh my God, Joe, you have you been to my to my YouTube channel <laughs> right now? <laughs> <laughs> what have happened? Been, have you been? Oh my God, I've got so much positive feedback. Mm. It's mm -hmm. overshadowing any negative feedback you can think about. Yeah. Because, which you is, know, which is good, right? We can be ignorant, but we can't be ignorant forever. You can be mm. ignorant two minutes and then it's like COVID. Like, I'm sorry to have to bring COVID back again on this topic. No, it's no, like no, no. We everyone, have to. we, we all started like, ah, kuna chinjinon's COVID. And some people in a bar went, Corona, Corona. Now they cannot do it because they have a relative that's either sick or dead or whatever. We can't be ignorant forever. So if something happens, if you have 
uh, if you have uh, an era that you want to bring in and say, hey, look, sexuality is nothing to be ashamed of. Babies are made through sexuality. Babies are made through love, through uh, these things. There's nothing to it. I'm not um, say, telling you something you don't know. I'm telling you something you already know. You know, so... Mm. I, I'm not worried, to be honest, I'm not worried about any negative feedback. Actually, negative feedback to me is like uh, poison. <laughs> you know, and then I use that as a concussion. Yeah, I'm not worried, to be honest. I use read Kudara. But mm. now I, but now I'm just going. But now it's now you just go with the flow. Whatever people say, it's, I go you're with okay the flow. With you can you can never make everybody happy if you understand that. No one mm. can make everybody happy. Even you, if you talk about the people who are said to be, oh, now he's the most billionaire of them all. Oh, believe me, not everybody loves that man. Of course, <laughs> and he, uh, he's got more haters probably than what you can expect. So. It's yeah. Nothing so shocking. let's 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 take a look at uh, let's take a look at some of the visuals coming through from you uh, from uh, um, from 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 YouTube. Hello. Are you still there? In hey, you're breaking. Instagram.
Okay, so uh, we had technical fault. Technical fault. Yeah, so I don't know what happened there. The electricity. I could not talk about load shedding. Even radio show, show, we're being on the ground. Yadona, yadona. Panaga na broadcast repo. It happens to the best of us. So, uh, he is hoping that um, uh, we can be able to raise Vimbai once again because, yeah, it's one of those things. Let's just see if we can raise her and then she can come back again and we can and continue this conversation that we've been having. A wonderful conversation with Vimbai Sumuto who releases a brand new, uh, brand new, brand new um, single today. And you can go and check it out on all social media platforms and the music streaming platforms. Uh, she will be um, there and you can check her out and what she's been doing and uh, being busy with during the lockdown. My name is Joe Mars and listen guys, thank you very much for coming through. It is the Joe Mars podcast and today I have none other than Vimbai Zumuto and... Um, we're talking about her brand new single, Handy Gone. And this is a series of podcasts that I'm doing for the Zimbabwean public, Zimbabwean community, everybody who calls himself Zimbo. We're trying to talk about ourselves and as much as we can instill that love for ourselves. So many things are going wrong. So many things are not so good. But listen, what can we do? The best that we can do is to stick together and be together all the times. And of course, this is at home with Joe Ma's uh, podcast can be found on Brass Sprout, Apple Podcasts, and as well as on YouTube and Facebook and all, all the other places that, that you love listening to your podcast. It's a new thing. You have to be part and parcel of this new thing. It's called podcasting. If you're not uh, in love with it, if you do not get a, a hold of it, so many things, because conversations, and sometimes some of these conversations that we have uh, on all the other platforms as well, uh, we cannot have them in platforms that are it's very hard for us to have these conversations, and conversations such as uh, the one that we've been having today, a conversation such as the one with Vimbai Simuto. It's not very easy for us to have conversations with creatives and artists like Vimbai on radio stations such as uh, the ones that I've worked for uh, before. So it's so easy for us to, to talk about these things uh, with Vimbai on our podcast, on our platforms, and understand exactly where she's coming from. Vimbai, thank you very much for coming back. Um, I lost you there because of a power outage. Apparently, where I am, a glitch happened, and uh, my router only gives me a few seconds before I store and close everything. So when I'm doing a live show, I really don't have an option. Can I get around going for two minutes? Thank you very much for coming back. Ah, you're welcome. Mm. You guys are Africans. You cut each other's electricity. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say something about that, but hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I, no, I, I but, know the story. <laughs> no, 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 Africa, ja, uzada, the story that I know the story, I'm not even uh, <laughs> mocking anyone. Mm. We, we have studied with candles too, so I know. <laughs> and it, and it, yeah. But listen, we, we, we were look, we are having we were having this conversation about um uh, your art. And mm -hmm. the people that that comment and have a lot to say about your art. And you mm -hmm. were, before we got cut off, you were talking about how it fuels you, how it makes you do more and more, whether they are saying mm -hmm. positive things or negative things. Mm -hmm. uh, you most probably think, ah, let me leave this. Look, if a comment moves you to a point mm -hmm. where you stop your whole career, you it means you are in the wrong career. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can't you can't be. But one comment, ah, I mm. mean, come on, or two, or three, sure. Mm. In any 
even when I say, even when I say, as long as you're doing you and you are not pretending to be somebody else, or your whole story is not a lie, or you know, we have a lot of people who are selling my lies and people are grabbing those lies and wanting them to be out there. For me, I'm so happy because I don't have to hide my mm. who I am and what I do as an artist. Um Vimbai Zumuto as an artist is a different human being. And Vimbai Zumuto as a mother is a totally different human being. And mm. Vimbai as a as a girlfriend, as a lover, is a I'm a totally different human being. So yeah. I yeah. can't be moved by by one or two comments or even even I get a hundred. I, I I'm I'm just content with what I do. Okay. That's a good thing because I think when you when you when you want to do what you do, which is not what a lot of people would love to do in Zimbabwe, uh -huh. uh, among the many Zimbabweans out there, some people would really want to 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 explore this art, to explore the way that you've been living in your life and doing what you've been doing. But courage mm. in doing simple. Where where did you get the courage to do you know or to portray the art that you do? Um, when you were growing up, is it something that happened in your life? Uh, what sort of experience did you grow up uh, being exposed to that made you to be as courageous as you are? Uh, to be honest, I didn't grow up as courageous as I am. I grew mm. up um, as an orphan uh, who is afraid. You know, when you're an orphan, you are likely to be beaten at some point because you did that or kicked out. Or what I experienced a lot of things in my in my youth. Mm. And um it made me so insecure, so um how do you say that unsatisfied with who I am. I, I just always felt like uh the things that I do are never good enough, you know, mm. because you're always judged. You do this, you are judged. You do that, you are judged. I was in traditional dance when I was in grade three already. And a lot of people would say, Kane mashaviak, kane mashavi. Why kachita she, she, she mashavis? You know? Mm. Do you know, even mm. that was kane mashavi, I never stopped traditional dance. I, that's why up to today I'm proud. I can dance the uh, Ine, Shangara, Chokoto, Chinyambera, Mande, Muchongoyo. Mm -hmm. I can do all these Zimbabwean traditional dances. And I also I was also a trainer for 10 years. I trained primary schools traditional dance in, in Chitungwiza. Um I also was in the school choir. I did a lot of things. And I was always told by somebody that this is wrong, this is bad, you're not doing right. So I was so insecure. I grew up not, I could have been a musician at an earlier age. You can imagine when you, I look at some youngsters who are being musicians at 18, 19, 20, 21. Mm -hmm. I could have done that with my solo career at that age. But because I had so much people telling me that I can't, this is that this is bad, that this is horrible. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Back then I was not even doing any nude art. I was, oh, I was a very obedient child who, who is not doing anything that is unexpected in the society. Like now, now I just do whatever I want. I'm a grown up. <laughs> but okay. um, back then I was just being Vimbai and and I was afraid to open any door because each time I open a door, I'm told that it's not a good door. It's not the door you're supposed to open. Why would you want to be a musician? Why mm. would you want to be singing? Maybe I grew up in a different era. So yeah, I, I will tell you, I survived because of the College of Music, the Zimbabwe College of Music, where we did Umoja and I was studying there. And then uh, we did Music Crossroads. We did so many projects that I didn't have to be the Mbaizim or standing in front of people because I was mm -hmm. not this person. Um, I, I always felt like, oh my God, can I do this? Because I was always told I can't. So at some point in my life, I started to see like, Okay, I've worked with big stars. Imagine how many people would have wanted to work with Oliver Mtukudzi, just being there mm. on tour for three to four mm. years, you know. And I learned a lot. That's when I realized, Fimba, you need to get out of your shell and, 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 you know, try to work on your own solo career. And as I worked on my solo careers, 
I, I, I did albums. Believe me, if you listen to my albums, you can actually tell my confusion. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I made <laughs> albums that, that had tradition, jazz, hip hop, pop, whatever. I did. It was just a whole lot of confusion. And uh, at some point, I said to myself, you know what, Vimbai, it's mostly because you are always trying to think, am I worth it? Can I actually do yeah. this? Because I was told that, and I've always felt maybe I can't. Maybe I'm just pushing the wrong buttons. And two, I said, hey, 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 please, Vimbai, just be you. Do what you feel you want to do. Do your art. Do art the way you understand it. So I just went forward and did it. And now I can do whatever I want, and I can choose whatever I want, and I can choose whoever wants to be in, in, my, in my team, and I can work with the team. I've got a lot lined up for 2021 and I'm so looking forward to it. I'm not um, bothered anymore. I've, I've been bothered too much for too long. You have long. developed a, 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 yeah, thick I've, skin, I've, a tough skin. Yes, I've been, I'm, I've been bothered for too long. I cannot be bothered anymore and feel like I'm small because somebody has an opinion. No, mm, mm. not allowing but, that. But what, what then brought you into the arts i know you spoke about umoja i know you spoke about uh, your life story of being uh, growing up as a manas now baby candidate all of you know what what really transpired for you to say i want now to be an artist I never got to that point. I think I got through that. I want to so be an how, artist. Uh, how art, did you? How did you end up being one? <laughs> I was chosen by art. Art chose me. I didn't uh, choose it. It's like explain that. Yeah. Okay. You know, unora mbauchi enda kuchikoro aditi every day like everybody. Mchino zidza me tichirongo chini chini, and then e panet kwa makoko curricular activities uriko. I was in traditional dance. I was in the percussion band when I was in grade one and two. And then grade three, I was already in traditional dance. And then I was joined the school choir. I was uh, I played netball. Actually, netball is one thing that I still love up to today. I played netball. Mm -hmm. I played volleyball. I played basketball. I played hockey, even. Um, I played um, baseball. Can you believe that? <laughs> you played baseball. I played baseball, so I know how to play baseball. And because I was a lefty, because I'm a lefty, mm -hmm. uh, I was an asset to being the bowler. So it was... Oh. I, yeah, because normally when you're a lefty, the person who's hit, who's going who's gonna to use the bat to hit the ball, they always never really see the ball coming. So I was an asset. And even could netball, I, I was mostly a, a wing attack because I, I loved to being a team player. You know, you, you feed, you play, you feed. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of things. I was an outdoor human being. I was not bad in school. I was really good. I was an average student. I was not, I was, I was not an A student. I was more of a B and C student. Uh, I was not, a, 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 it's like, okay, let's say I'm a class. Mune group one, two, three, four, five. I was mostly on group two. Group two, group three. Then group two, group three. Group two, group three. But I was outdoors. I spent mm -hmm. under outdoors. My teacher would, would be like, if you stay indoors, maybe you might get your grades higher. And, you know, but because outdoors were so much, they gave me so much life. And, you know, like I said before, growing up an orphan, sometimes you have to get activities to not stay at home. So you spend most of your time at Monday, or netball, Tuesday, or volleyball, Wednesday, or traditional dance, Thursday. Or... So I had, I had no time to do any other crazy thing. I had time to just be in co-curricular activities. I was also an athlete. I hit a, a, a high jump, a triple jump. So, <laughs> Yeah. You were all that things that, uh, you were all things that probably a normal kid would want to be, you know, uh, except for you know the said you know said moments and said parts you know in your life where probably you you know think about parents and stuff like that. But I think you found an outlet, and the outlet was was being be be as active as you can and be as uh, uh, be as all that you want to be, and the 
the nothing should limit you just because probably you don't have one or two things in life which is something that i think a lot of people don't actually realize like i have this conversations with people and some of them they start looking at what they don't have and that from there that's where it all starts to to crumble a lot of people will just say mm. oh okay i don't have this big, so i don't think things are just going to work for me you know but yeah, it never you know. It it, it 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 was never the case with you. But I wanna uh, you 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 spoke something about working with Oliver Mtuguzi. How how mm. did that come about? I was in Omoja. You know, I was working mm. at Omoja uh, Cultural Flying Carpet, and that was the um, educational exchange program that was uh, run by uh, the Norwegian Embassy mm. and the all the colleges in South Africa and in Zimbabwe and in um, Mozambique. And then um, the Norwegians wanted their students to also learn about African culture. So it was a, a, a just an educational exchange program. There was no payments, nothing. You would just go learn some stuff, work with a couple of uh, artists from other countries. Um, and, you know, that's where I learned how to do the dances of Anna Gambut's dance, Anna Marabenta from Mozambique, Chichichi. So I can do a lot more than most people think. Um, and when I when I was in Umoja, Oliver Mtukudzi was our ambassador. Okay. So he would come and then maybe play one song and we'll sing along. So uh, normally he would love to play Madiro. I think it was one of his favorite songs. <laughs> we would play Madiro a lot. <laughs> Madiro, Madiro, Madiro. Ah, oh, no, that's... that's ah, uh, no, that uh, that's not that one. Taita, Madiro. Taita, Madiro. Taita, Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so okay. we would play that song and it would be so much fun. And then one day he just said, well, uh, Sam, Taura ne mwanawe kubas. And then Sam came to me. And that's uh, uh, Sam Mataure. Sam Mataure, yeah. Mm. And then Dova Ndatongu enda ugraft. So ti muswanda kanzi mwana nga wewe kubas. Now I told him, ah, ti mwanda kwa passport. Chichichi, because ti ne gigre, tula kuita. And then there's a passport in and it was the old Friday and it was almost transferred to UK. It was that fast. It was that fast. It's like, I think it's like on a Monday and then um on Friday, then it was transferred. Okay. So it was okay. really, it was amazing. It was really amazing. And um we went for almost a year and a half. And then after that, Onai joined the band. And then uh, after that, I came back to the band. And uh, it was just, it was really amazing. I worked there until like to, uh, the first uh, month of 2020, of 2010. Mm. And mm -hmm. then uh, that's when I joined the Daughters of Africa, which was a, um, a, a tour that we toured the Netherlands for about three months. Mm. And yeah, that's where my life began from the Netherlands. And then from then on, you chose this is like the path for me and I'm not ever going to let let it go one way or the other. Ah, Pastor Ripo, Pastor Gato, Mbo, Itika. Ipa kwenda ingo shanda o semu na noko na kuyimba. So where exactly did you get this light bulb? Is it light bulb? I, I think I can survive on this. I, I have to think about that. When did it really happen? When did it really hit me? I have to think about that because pesa ari ari and you know I'm a musician and I will just be working and even when I worked with Tango Kwasando, Tango Shanda, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I had so much experiences and and now when I look back, I'll be like, I could have done that. I could have done mm. that, but I didn't, you know, just like everybody else. But yeah. Let's talk about let's talk about, let's talk about the art that a lot of people would really love to hear you speak about, like where you 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 find a secluded beach and then you decide, okay, I wanna I wanna I wanna strip naked, I wanna take or oh, I want pictures like this and like that and like that. Um, you know, where where did this come from? Is it your exposure with Europe and probably what you were seeing there, or it's something that you'd always wanted to do? Uh, to be honest, it has nothing to do with Europe. 
it is it is just been by that is me it's, it's it nothing everything to, to do, do with, with Europe. Zimbabwe. it is a lot to do with me being the by being a zimbabwean being my a okay. cultured human being mm. it is nothing to do with uh, with um uh, uh it has nothing to do with europe i'll tell you mm. most people who, who have been to europe uh i'll tell you something about the dutch people they are very conservative people despite the fact that kuna red light district mm. do you understand what i'm saying Yeah there I the do only... understand the red light district I think a friend of eh. mine once went through it yes. and he was showing us videos and I was like what yes it's okay. amazing akutobvumira ukutora ma video kabatwa onogona to sungwa because it's violation of people's privacy yeah so the only difference they could madat they are conservative they are tingachi vano vanotopfeka hembe kudarika isusu Okay. But they are not ignorant about was ignorant about how much they love kunona or to have sex or to see people doing this or they are not ignorant about it. So they are an open-minded liberal nation. Even do not choose kuti tukuda kuti ndoda kuita zveku red light district here or ndoda kuita zveku Catholic you know mm. it's your choice they are, they are not stopping anybody from doing whatever they want as long as you usuru kuenda pakati pe seat ono ita ono bvisa hembe udai so kune nzimbo yazvinoitirwa kana uda kuita zvekubvisa hembe uchiita zveku zve prostitution zve chinyi or if uchiita certain type of things you go mm. to a certain area and you do it if it's online do whatever you like it's a it's it's there's nothing you can be stopped to do but ukafamba pa street apa pe netherlands which you tend to ram city which it a shopping which you wanna go around you you will not believe kuti vanawa they can actually have a red light district you not believe it is it so they yeah. they have they have sort of uh, arranged their society just the same way guys arrange their minds where there is a certain box for everything so there is a certain area for mm -hmm. this and there's a certain mm -hmm. area for that and there's a certain area for that which i think makes a lot of sense and maybe it could be the reason why uh, in netherlands or in dutch they have a very good football program they have a lot of they have a lot of good football stars and they have a lot of good things going on for themselves because when things are allocated certain specifics or, or districts or whatever or regions it makes mm -hmm. much more sense you you can tell yourself good right now nakuva pamba pangu re kana mbono spark kwa red light district and then when you're moving from there when you're moving from there you tell yourself okay now ndakwenda kuita zvekumba and i must be mm -hmm. osha kupasa and i must be strict mm -hmm. with that manje yeah. zvakaita mvenge mvenge zvakaita ezomgidi eh hey, look let, let's look at it this way Let's say Muharare kuma avenues kwa kwa. Dai kwanga kuine nzvimbo yekuti everyone ari kuda kuona vakadzi vakashama anongoenda ikoko. Anditika. The we wouldn't have people lingering about the streets. Vakavura whatever so vakavura. We wouldn't have such people because when when ke makaisa rule yekuti munhu wese ari kuda kuona zvinhu anenda uko. Eh, don't bring it to our streets. Because we don't our, want our children to see women lingering about vakapfeka mamine nemazwi vano vano kutita nemaskat nemaskat. So mm -hmm. if we have a, um, an organization yekuti okay gati ngo vake inzvimbo inongonzi iyo ndo inoitika izvozvo chat. Eh hey, then and then ndokunoitika izvozvo. Hakuna zvota anzi zoni eh, panda famba ndichienda hangu kunotenga pizza yangu ndaona mabebha mm -hmm. achidai. Mm. Come on, I, I, I should mm. not be feeling uncomfortable. Kufamba mu street, ndichisanga ane vanhu vachita linga about. Do do panongo rine difference yet. Aumbo vaoni pa road. Avaoni muno ane like koko red light kana uchida koko nende. Okay. Yeah. So so which brings us to the the very important reason why we are having this conversation because we're talking about red light districts, we're talking about putting things into categories into spaces into areas etc et uh, your mm. new video is very mm. very raunchy 
it is uh, it's, as it's I nothing said shocking. When we <laughs> yeah, it's nothing shocking. Yes, let's talk about that. It's nothing <laughs> shocking. There's nothing shocking about it. But I'm mm. saying, uh, or my question is, doesn't that uh, go against probably what you believe in? or what you think is the right kind of setup in a society like such as a society that you're living in in the Netherlands where certain things are, are given up are appropriate in certain spaces. Video uh, Yako, does it not go against that when now it's a little bit raunchy and anyone who is on YouTube or a kid who's on YouTube can type in Viva Isumuto and find it. Won't it go against probably that kind of setup that you have been describing about Europe? You see... YouTube is a is a very protective platform. They would mm -hmm. never allow children to go and see things children shouldn't be watching. What you need to understand about about it is, Iwewe as a parent, you didn't you you, you didn't stop your duties, God, because YouTube is going to do it for you. I was. Uh, one of my protections, our no pakuti so I expect to monite a cut. I expect to monite a cut. The reason why YouTube accept a video, I get a say I've been by the is the same reason why they accept a video. I can be. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. the same reason they accept video. I can be same, same. You yeah, are not accept I've been by the same reason I will accept a video. Ya ningi 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 chisheka wa nudae. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> okay. It's I, because... I, 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 I hear your point. I see. <laughs> All right. Mm. So for me, I think you mentioned it goes against what I believe. The question is, what do I believe? Right. Mm. Uh, I am um, I'm a musician and an artist and a parent and a lover first before I become anything else. Mm -hmm. So I am really not worried about judgments. I believe in God. I pray and I believe in prayer. So I'm not going to go into that and say, hey, Vimbai, why are you doing this? I always give an example, yeah, um, um, Gabriella Union, very married, med happily married, but she's in a series called Being Mary Jane, kissing 10 different men in one episode. What do we say about that? It's mostly because you are, they are not expecting it from an African, but what is Gabriela Union? Or maybe it's the culture that we come from, the norms, the expectations. What is our culture, Joe? It's it's not dynamic. I culture. agree. I agree ah. with you. Culture is dynamic. Time will pick a name, but you don't with the artificial visa. And then now we don't even see anyone wearing it. So culture changes, right? I agree mm. with you. Mm. But uh, that judgment before it changes will never. Uh, 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 will never go away before people's minds have been changed or people think otherwise or they've accepted mm. cultures and, and, and assimilated other cultures judgment yeah, but, but being judgmental is not our culture okay i'm not going to elaborate further maybe that is for another conversation on a different day mm -hmm. Us as Africans, in our culture, in our tradition, we are not judgmental. Okay. Yes. We, we, we inherited judgmental from somewhere. That being judgmental is not our, it's not our culture. Okay. Okay. I inherit. And it often good upon a culture in a in a, in, a, in a culture of being very judgmental. I think I, it's I one of the... you you just not thinking along the way and then she did she guy us wrong, but uh, <laughs> uh, there's a culture we inherited that is very, very judgmental. Okay. Mm. And, which is and we are still with that culture and uh, culture I be sick is mm. mm. Yo, yo. But I, as Africans, we are not judgmental. 
we are uh, we follow our culture naturally without judging anyone okay and what I want to achieve at the end of the mm -hmm. year and what I'm hoping will, will you know happen and I'm just excited for this year and I'm trying not to let COVID put me away like it did last year. I felt really, because Ndakasha and Anjifungoti, COVID, Chapera, Shingoti, ah, lockdown. That was zero or two weeks. Oh, but okay, mm -hmm. fine. Let's but wait yeah. for two weeks. Exactly. Eh, and then your parents say, ah, that was zero or two months. But, ah, okay, well, in the two months, let me just create. Can I create a two months? Zapera, Tumbo, not Shagamira say. And then who's go foot? Ah, yeah, wait, zero lockdown here. Rat, Tatom, no November. Mm. And then you start to see it. Ah, ko zandaka ndongo zandaka ndongo mira ndi chifungo ati COVID ticha pera ndi chifungo ati pada shanga ticha ndera mbere ne basa auto not ai auto sara. So <laughs> you try to not that ndaga sara, but I'm just saying, kuti you know you start to realize, kuti maybe it might not go anywhere. I need to adjust and move mm. forward. So basically, this is where I am now, adjusting and moving forward. All right, let's uh, get into the groove of things right now and look at your new video, which is available on YouTube, available on all other platforms as well. Handy Gone, you worked with Leroy. We spoke about where you met with Leroy. Uh, you met in an airport. You just clicked, you know, you started having these ideas. As creatives, sometimes when you meet the person, the next person you're going to create with, it's an easy, it's like, it's like knowing I'm going to marry this person the moment uh, the moment you, you you see them but uh yeah let's 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 take a look at this video um with leroy uh i must can you see it can you see it properly i can see it. i can see okay okay he's gained a little bit of uh he's, he's a little bit chubby around the waist there but he still looks good oh, come bad. on come <laughs> on he doesn't have a pot belly let's just get there exactly he doesn't, exactly. Have, a he doesn't belly. have a pot belly yes but we're gonna we, we're gonna be tracking the video a little bit as we can you hear it no you can't hear okay let's just uh stop it right there and start again i think there's something that i didn't do quite right no that's a good you know it okay Oh, yeah, I turned 39, <laughs> All right, so let's go. There's, 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 the, there's the video where you've got... Mm -hmm. uh, let's just start it from, from, from scratch there and we can have people just view, viewing that quite nicely. Uh, where's the location to that? Where were, where, where were you guys filming this? Somewhere in Arar. Come on, Mimbai, the video is out. It doesn't, does it really matter? <laughs> somewhere <laughs> in Arari. Uh, somewhere. <laughs> it's, it's some game park in Arari. Okay, okay. It's some game park in Arari. That's cool. I love that. Um, yeah. And then you came in uh, with uh, the white outfit. Who yeah. does your outfits? Okay, let's before we go even we before we even go to the to the black one, <laughs> the, the one that you're wearing there. Uh, who does your outfits? I mean, where do you where do you get all of these uh, good things and good vibes? Uh, you know, for 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 your videos. I work with Evil Tribe, and that's Jasper. Uh, I've worked with Jasper for I think three years now. He was in my first video, Hapana Kaunoenda. And then after we met and worked on my Panakono and that, that's when I realized that, oh my God, I have a designer that is uh, in my video. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, that's when we clicked and we started working together. So he makes most of my outfits. And in this video, he made, um, I think, two of the outfits. Yeah, the, the glow in the dark and this one. Oh, okay. The, the glow, all the glow in the the dark okay we'll get there we'll get there uh All right. but the next part the next part of the video is when uh, uh you are here and obviously showing your affection and your love to your husband as the song is supposed to be uh mm -hmm. then there's a the part where you then go into deep 
raunchy mode by the way if you was watching this just be careful if you're one of those people who get angered uh, quickly okay that's you and lira gopal are you still at the same place have you moved have you changed venues what what's happening <laughs> uh but you're now showing the whole video how are people going to watch the video on my youtube now okay that's that's where we stop it right there we're stopping <laughs> it right there right there okay okay but uh yeah i i like the part where you've got you've got this whole uh this whole change of wardrobe this whole change of scenery and stuff like that trying to tell your story uh, mm. uh is there is there is there anything that you can say about working with you know with Lero Gopal I mean we all love Lero ever since he started in that uh, uh a movie way back in the day is there anything mm -hmm. that you can say about working with Lero Gopal Well it depends what what your what your question is asking here it depends ukunyatso mfunza nyatso kuti jiko I, I I'm just asking about you working with Lero Gopal. How was Yeah, because that there's, a, there's a lot. There's a okay. lot. Yeah, then... Leroy is a is a vibe. I think everybody who has worked with Leroy can tell you. He's a vibe. He's um a, an on-point kind of person. He's always having fun. He loves to have fun. So we we had a lot of uh conversations where we were laughing and um, jokes and and mm. yeah he's an mc as well so you can imagine he talks so okay. he's a vibe so we had a lot of fun uh, shooting this video and the professional side um i think uh even andy carter can tell you it was flawless mm. because it was mm. easy to switch from we are laughing to now we are set we are on set because okay. th some people don't understand the difference I've worked with people who when you say now guys we are shooting they still play around and they still do that and they still do that and then you waste time because time mm -hmm. is money you would have booked mm -hmm. a place maybe for 2 hours and then you are talking before you even do the work so with Leroy that was easy because we could just switch from hey oh my god and laugh 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 and then we say now we're shooting we get ready for the shoot so it was mm -hmm. flawless Yeah, I think it's important honest. to work with 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 the with professional people like him because then you mm. don't you don't have to spend the whole day explaining to someone what they need to be doing or uh them not understanding you because yeah you're busy talking about other things that have nothing to do with what you're doing. So yeah. It was amazing. I love that. I love that. Uh and Carter produced the film. Mhm. Mm Uh, this glow in the dark is a scene that I, I I was wondering myself. Okay, so I've done a little bit of photography, videography here and there, but you don't know not to the extent that I end cut it. And I was wondering to myself, and I'm thinking to myself, what was really happening here? Uh, I know you're one of those people who are very very uh, not so uh, forthcoming when to show you, to share your secrets as well. But this this is the other dress that uh, your designer your designer made, de yeah. uh, design for you yeah mm -hmm. yeah what is it made of yeah. i mean is that plastic <laughs> is that what yeah that's that those are straws like you know my straw no we said drink really yes those are straws wow mm. so Brilliant we stuff. just chose them to to make a nice outfit and we made sure that they glow in the dark so we, what happens with glow mm. in the dark is you you get the uv light you make sure it's there and we do the, when you mm -hmm. do the shoot you do it in the right angles otherwise it won't give you the effect you want so it was mm -hmm. if you see in my in my hands uh, and then there was the painting i had a nice body artist painter if mm -hmm. you notice i have my whole my whole leg is is full of um i was painted in my legs i was painted in the back and lira was If there's a part where Leroy was uh, was standing with me on the glow in the dark and his whole back was painted of a lion because you know I'm mm. a lioness I need a lion mm. <laughs> so yeah okay I mm -hmm. I 
I, I, I commend you. And I, and I think I've always said this, you know what, it's easy to deal with uh, an artist who knows what they want and who's not afraid to take the risks. And some of the mm -hmm. things that we see overseas, like in Europe, et cetera, et cetera, is, mm -hmm. is not even shocking. This video, I'll, I'll be honest with you, if you are in a, in a, in a country like, say, you know, South, South Africa, it's changing now, uh, South Africa and, uh, and Europe and abroad. People won't have a problem with it. They don't have a problem. There is no problem with it. And I think our culture or in fact our settings in Zimbabwe are slightly changing as well. People really don't care because they've seen it all. There are far more worse things that they've seen other than a neatly mm -hmm. crafted musical video from someone who calls them off or, or for uh, uh, an artist that we all know could we the artist could only one in the life and then what shama and people will still be watching that and yet there's mm -hmm. no there's no real problem with that. But I think our history our, about it, yeah. Yeah, our, our culture is slowly moving away from, you know, from shunning these works of art and accepting them. Good Iowa, these things can actually happen. So thank you for that. Just before I let you go, because I know you've got kids that are running around the house, probably they need uh, drink or my things. Yeah, they're is. stuck in their room <laughs> now. They're like uh, waiting yeah. for me to, to stop talking and then they come back. To stop talking. Mm. All right, so... You you did an advert in in the Netherlands. You're not only doing work in Zimbabwe and we, with uh, Zimbabwean artists as well. You've just done uh, yeah. an advert which you posted on your social media. Uh, mm -hmm. How how did that come about? Okay, so with the advert, uh, it's a community based advert where they are encouraging people to not stop with life, continue, and not feel um, like you know. As, as bad as we've been feeling the whole year and uh, with COVID going on. So, yeah, they just called me. Uh, fortunately, you know, have you ever noticed how people call you and then you realize that you have the whole community following you and you didn't know? <laughs> That's what happened to me. It's like I have uh, the local government here, like let's say the municipality. Um, I have... Um, uh, photographers from the municipality. I have um, uh, film directors from the films in this country, in, the, in my area here, following me. So I've got all these people watching me and I didn't know. I only got to know when I got a call and they're saying, hey, we need you on our, on our advert. So I was like, what? <laughs> it's, yeah, to send us a quotation. I'm like, what? I'm going to make money? <laughs> I, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You muted yourself. Okay. And um, I was saying, oh, yeah. and you and, and you charge them an arm and a leg. Ah, uh, no. You know what? When you charge people who you're working with the first time, <laughs> you charge so that they come back. <laughs> so, oh, okay. So I did, I did what I had to do. And now, mm. uh, after charging them, they asked me if I can do a Tina Tena concert to be part what? of that. So... Yeah, so there's a concert where they they celebrate um, artists and they were saying mm. this time they're celebrating Tina Turner and they said, oh, we would love you to do your your song because we've seen you have an outfit. That, you know, when I, when I took mm. pictures on Ginny mm. Biscay and I was wearing this oh, afro. Yes, so they're yes. like, oh my God, we saw your afro and that red outfit, all of it, just come in that outfit. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> really? Wow. So wow. I have I have a lot that's lined up, and I'm so looking forward to it. Like COVID, younger Isiko, um, I could have been doing a lot more indoors and outdoor shows because I've, I've got so much lined up. Then Ranguru Tor Wadziwa, because that Tori ne 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 swatata karonga, but yeah. A lot yeah. of things lined up. Yeah. yeah, we that's why I'm working with the Zimbabwean band. It's because, yeah, when I'm going to do my international shows and I'm going to be on stages, I, I want to bring the Zimbabweanism in it. And mm. um, I, I know what, what it's like because, I, like, when I worked with Oliver Mtukudzi, people, uh, they respect you more when you do things they don't know. They have no mm. idea what you're doing. And they, it it's just looks good and it sounds good and it's beautiful. So um, it's it's that's why I, I, I'm so sad with COVID. But, well, I'm not going to let that uh, pull me back. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep going. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Ah, pale sokawanda shacho. Harare yakatondi mirira. <laughs> Ma plans. Ma plans I just want this but I cannot As... just yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the spirit. I mean, uh, we all wishing that this whole covid could just go away and and we can yeah. continue on the path that we're going. A lot of things and a lot of people had plans and you included, I included, everybody had plans. So yeah. uh, that said, people just must just wear their masks and make sure we just, we just say Jupere, and then we can continue with our Yeah, I need to know you didn't know what you know the best way to end COVID is everybody should just stay at home. Mm. If mm. we all stay at home for maybe let's say three weeks, Usna. Because COVID is just a period. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's a period of time where somebody is sick. So the first um, first five days of catching COVID, you are not sick, probably you are not doing anything. And then the next two days you are sick. And then the next two days you are testing positive. And then you test positive for close to eight weeks. But then you are only sick for seven days. You have to have an understanding. So if everyone... Mm stays at home for completely 14 to 21 days without going anywhere, without doing anything, staying at home. If you're going to the supermarket to get bread for your children, you go alone with your mask and you just make sure you are not mixing up with people. If we all do that, COVID will be gone in less than two weeks. Yes. It will be gone Indeed. completely. Everyone who's sick in the hospital right now will get better. And one, of course, we. I cannot say, uh, you know, everyone will get, some people will die, but I'm mm. saying um, those who get better, they will just go home, stay home, and everybody stays home. In two, three weeks, we are all off COVID. But as long as people still meet, mingle, and go to parties, and it's not going anywhere. Yeah. It's not going yeah, anywhere. This is how New Zealand has managed to, to, to combat COVID, because like I said, as long as in Indigangobuda, if I meet 10 people and I have COVID, 10 people have COVID. And when they go ah, to their houses, they have COVID. Mm. 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 Apana. Mm. Well, thank you very much, Vimbai. Thank you very much. You're and welcome. I would love, would love to just close it down. But thank you very much for the music, for the art. We'll continue supporting you. And of course, thank you, Joe. Yeah. Thank you for Keep having doing. me. You're always a team player. Thanks for the team support. Player, team player number one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so when yeah. when when is when is your do you do you do you mind telling us when is your next song, your next album? Oh whatever? my god! Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Uh, look, we all mm. have everything in order. Everything is just sitting and waiting for all of you to, <laughs> you know, we, we can't wait. So okay. just know it's coming soon, very mm. soon. Very and soon. Um, this one is for all of you to enjoy your time indoors. Uh, I, from what I understand, our, our uh, lockdown has been extended. I know in Zimbabwe yeah. they have extended as well. In so many places they have extended, which means your Valentine's Day is going to be indoors. <laughs> mm, mm, enjoy mm. your Valentine's Day with Andy Gode and okay. enjoy it. Have fun. Lock each other up in that room and don't come <laughs> out. Play Andy Gode on loud volume. <laughs> okay, okay. My my kids are watching this. They are most probably watching this. You're giving them nah. ideas. No, I'm just. Oh joking. my god! Oh my god! I'm just. Joking. I'm, just joking. I'm just joking. Thank you very yeah. much, Mimba. Uh, You're the last welcome. Part the last uh, visual we want to end off with is this one, where you've got Leroy, and it suddenly just looks like you guys were having fun. Okay, let me just stop there. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. <laughs> Here go. Thanks. All right. Have a great day. Bye. So that was uh, Vimbai Zimuto coming through and hanging out with us on the Joe Mars podcast. All you have to do as well is be part of the family. We're having these conversations and this series of podcasts 
uh, at home with Joe Mars. We're getting into our artists, our most popular individuals within the country. And we're just having a conversation with them, you know, just giving you something to, you know, have some information about them, understanding exactly where they're coming from, what makes them do what they do, what makes them tick and what makes them um, who they are. It's important that at a time when we are doing, uh, going through this lockdown and a lot of restrictions have been placed in our lives to just have sort of, uh, some sort of understanding of things probably that we didn't have. So today I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that we had this conversation with Vimbai Simuto, who's got a brand new song called Handi Gone. And of course, she's been doing music for the longest, having worked with people like uh, Olifam Tukudzi and having worked with the... Uh, Umoja, you name it. She continues to just produce music, and of course, she continues to just be uh, the artist that a lot of Zimbabweans who remember. Some would say for the bad things, and some would say, "Well, it's still art." Depending on where you stand, you are the one who will uh, accept or deny Vimbai Zimuto's artistry. Until we meet again, bye bye. Take care of your loved ones. Please wear your mask all the time. Sanitize your hands and uh, just stay at home if you have to. Stay at home if you don't have to do anything. There's nothing like, I just want to, you know, I know. Just stay at home. If you have to go out, do it in the right way. Wear your mask and make sure you are not mixing and mingling, partying and doing all those kind of stuff. We want COVID-19 to end. We want it to end. So I do meet again. It is bye-bye, and I will see you later.